Donald Trump and Marco Rubio had so many heated confrontations last night. Their target was Hillary Clinton, who tweeted back, how many more of these do we have to sit through asking for a friend? She does still face a more immediate hurdle, of course, the continuing Justice Department investigation into her private server. The staffer, Brian Pagliano, who worked on that server, now granted limited use immunity, told the FBI what he knows during interviews that were conducted between Thanksgiving and December, according to my sources. Joining me now, California Congressman Adam Schiff, the ranking Democrat on the House Select Committee on Intelligence, uh, where you had to listen to testimony, a lot of testimony on all of these issues over these months and years. Uh, bottom line, according to what I have been told as well, uh, Mr. Pagliano testified that there had been routine spamming, blasts, uh, during the time that he was in charge of the server, none of them seemed linked to any foreign sources. He didn't do sophisticated forensics, but there was no indication that there was a penetration of her private server. Uh, that said, the State Department system, which the State Department and the Clinton team has been pointing out, the State Department system was penetrated by Russia, we understand, by others, and had to be shut down last June. So that's their their defense of the security of the private system, acknowledging that it should never have been a private system. Well, that, that's right, and uh, I can't comment as to whether uh, that's correct about uh, the private server, whether there were unsuccessful phishing attacks, but if that turns out to be the case, it is ironic that the State Department server w was penetrated and the private server wasn't. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I think the Justice Department is doing exactly what they should. Uh, they're uh, going through the materials, they're trying to determine was anything compromised, any steps have to be taken to mitigate uh, any uh, now classified information that may have gotten out into the uh, public sphere. Fear. That's what they should be doing. Uh, they're doing it privately. They're doing it uh, without a lot of leaks, and I give them uh, enormous credit for that. Because you can imagine when this inquiry is done, uh, people are going to criticize it no matter what they do. Uh, so from all I can see, they're acting very professionally. Now, James Comey has a lot of street cred, the FBI director. And in fact, when I interviewed uh, former Attorney General Michael Mukasey, who was very critical, in fact, yesterday and said that there are a lot of if there's a lot of legal jeopardy potentially for Hillary Clinton he disagrees with a lot of other legal experts uh, he was an advisor to the Jeb Bush campaign so he's not a completely uh, nonpartisan observer but that said he said if James Comey comes out and says there's nothing here and we don't have to prosecute he would buy that because of Comey's reputation uh, for impartiality. Well, and it's a well-deserved reputation. I think uh, throughout his long service, he has demonstrated a willingness to stand up, uh, even to his own bosses when that was necessary. Uh, he is very independent. Uh, he has been, uh, you know, I think a, a strong voice uh, in the encryption debate, whatever people think. I think they feel there's a lot of integrity to his position. Uh, so I think he is uh, a very good steward of an incredibly difficult and uh, likely to be politicized uh, investigation. Now, I know that you're in Hillary Clinton's corner, but you were a formal prosecutor yourself from L.A. Uh, at this stage, what is the legal jeopardy here? There's a political, there's obviously political jeopardy. Anytime you're talking about this stuff, it's not what she wants to be talking about. What's the legal jeopardy for her or some of her closest aides? Well, you know, I, honestly, I don't think there's much legal jeopardy here. If you're talking about a series of emails, none of which were marked classified at the time, uh, and, and frankly, many of which are being classified retroactively, they weren't even classified at the time, uh, it's hard, I think, to make any kind of a, a case that there should be some criminal charge under those circumstances. Circumstances. I know people are comparing it to the case with General Petraeus, but that was a case of intentionally providing highly classified information known to be classified at the time uh, to someone uh, writing a biography. Very different circumstance here. Uh, so, you know, I think the uh, FBI is doing their due diligence. They have to. Uh, I wouldn't read much into the fact they gave a limited uh, immunity to Mr. Pagliano. That's what they should do to make sure they dot every I, cross every T, look under every stone. Uh, but uh, there's no indication to me uh, that this is going to go much farther. Congressman Adam Schiff, thank you so much. Thanks for being with us today.